We have been reporting on the problems in the uh, foster care system and during a hearing today, a federal judge threatened to levy several contempt of court charges against the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services. Investigative reporter Morgan Young was in the courtroom and, and it sounds like the judge did not hold back. Yeah, Chris, that's right. Judge Janice Jack asked a lot of questions and really challenged state officials for hours today. Now, the lawsuit you heard about was filed back in 2011, spurring mandatory reports created by outside monitors of how DFP is managing the children in its care. Today, Judge Jack picked apart that fifth report. It's 156 pages followed by 130 pages of specific cases in which monitors believe the department failed. The judge's message today was that DFPS is doing some things right. There are improvements in caseloads for caseworkers and making them more manageable for those caseworkers, as well as when it comes to investigations. Monitors saw a drop in the number of outcomes they disagree with. But one area the judge spent a lot of time talking about is cases involving children without placement or CWAP, kids with severe situations who they are not able to place. CPS says there were 69 of those cases just yesterday. Judge Jack says there need to be zero by the next hearing in late June or the department could face contempt of court charges. DFPS is a brand new commissioner. We spoke with her exclusively today and asked about that threat. Yes, and every day we work to make sure that is our goal, zero kids in CWAP. We work at that on an individual child level, but also looking at the system of care and how do we get those appropriate placements. It's not an ideal placement. It's not ideal for the child. It's certainly not ideal for the staff. So that is our goal. But when we asked if she could guarantee that zero mark by June, Commissioner Stephanie Muth said she just can't commit to that. The judge also threatened contempt of court charges next month for directives she says should have been handled years ago, like making sure each child knows their rights and has a point of contact if they are abused, as well as certain DFPS data that the department could not provide when asked today. Judge Jack says the situation is critical and said the department is not getting the urgency. I can't speak to what happened in the past, but in the three weeks that I have been there, what I do see is a sense of urgency. Our team is very committed to the mission of the agency, and we are working both on individual children's issues and cases, but also systemically to make improvements. And Chris, there will be another hearing next month for a separate issue, as well as another hearing like this one on June 27th. All right, appreciate you staying on top of this, Morgan. Thank you.